It looks like this is not a passageway leading to the dome, but a temporary storage module. I didn't know it was located in this part of the liner. So it is. These are temporary storage refrigerators. Everyone who was lucky enough to die during the flight on the liner was placed here, and according to my data, there were many of them. The design of these refrigerators is not that simple. If I had more information, I could make a useful blueprint for Normandy. This boulder could be named in your honor. Just look at all the stuff it destroyed. Everything is blocked with ice further on. It's unlikely we'll be able to break through. I have no idea what it is or how it works. This is clearly not just simple steam, but something much colder. Although you could get under the dome from here. Despite the damage, the nitrogen valve control unit in this refrigerator remained intact. Very interesting. I can't imagine how this happened, but by looking at the junction box in his hand, I can make a rough diagram of how to connect the refrigerator. Looks like I figured out the general concept of integrating thermal control systems, even though I don't have an engineering chip installed in me. All that's left is to study the cooling system controller and figure out where to get the working fluid. Then we can assemble a cooling unit for Normandy. Simple as pie!
Now it's clear how to disable the flow of nitrogen. I wonder if you can call icicles icicles in zero gravity. Technically, they form in a different way, which means they must have another name. Orbicles, for example. Or, uh, expandicles. Bursticles. Pressuricles. I don't know. I'll allocate one of my processors for generating the name, perhaps. It looks like this is not a passageway leading to the dome, but a temporary storage module. I didn't know it was located in this part of the liner. So it is. These are temporary storage refrigerators. Everyone who was lucky enough to die during the flight on the liner was placed here, and according to my data, there were many of them. The design of these refrigerators is not that simple. If I had more information, I could make a useful blueprint for Normandy. This boulder could be named in your honor. Just look at all the stuff it destroyed. Everything is blocked with ice further on. It's unlikely we'll be able to break through. imagine how this happened, but by looking at the junction box in his hand, I can make a rough diagram of how to connect the refrigerator. valve control unit in this refrigerator remained intact. Very interesting. Looks like I figured out the general concept of integrating thermal control systems even though I don't have an engineering chip installed in me. All that's left is to study the cooling system controller and figure out where to get the working fluid. Then we can assemble a cooling unit for Normandy. Simple as pie.
Now it's clear how to disable the flow of nitrogen. This is clearly not just simple steam, but something much colder, although you could get under the dome from here. Turn the A02 valve all the way to the right, then the three nitrogen reduction valves. Turn the B6 valve to the left at a 30 degree angle. Don't forget to depressurize the valve. Well, or like this. All right, time to check the dome. Cooling system controller should be here somewhere. We're looking for some sort of a, uh, box? No, probably a computer, or a room, or maybe a data block, or a barrel with a button. I haven't fully studied what it should look like. Wait a second, this mosaic. So that's why your relative's face seems so familiar to me. A brilliant engineer, one of the creators of the core, and the father of artificial intelligence. It's him! Amazing! Are you sure you're not adopted? According to some sketchy fragments of data, I assume that it might be the office of your grandfather. An employee pass is required. I wonder if a handy scrapper will do, or if you'll have to search the bodies. Nothing of interest. 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 Nothing of interest.
Nothing of interest. Solids detected. Solids detected. Solids detected. Solids detected. The deceased is on the ship's crew list. I've checked. I don't know why, though. It's a good thing you only need to pass from a corpse, but not the corpse itself. Apparently your grandpa was supposed to fly as a crew member and monitor the corps' activity. I wish I'd had a chance to talk to him. All the equipment was destroyed, and someone took all the data blocks. Someone's been looking for something here. I wonder what it was. Most likely, the liner's core was remotely controlled from here, but someone broke everything. I think the controller must be here somewhere. Here it is, the cooling system controller. I told you it looked like, uh, this. Either the controller is broken, or we don't have access. In any case, I only need to examine its internals, so I suggest using a handy scrapper. damage. I've made a blueprint of the cooling unit. You can feel how hot my logic board is. No less than 85 degrees. I knew you were
say no, it's hot, isn't it? Just like Normandy's core, which we need to cool down already. However, I have some unpleasant news for you. I found out where to find the working fluid for the cooling unit, but you are unlikely to like it. In any case, we will need a drill and moral depravity. Stop thinking about your brilliant relative. He clearly worked here and designed many of the liner's systems. Could the accident have been caused by someone who needed his body or the data from his office? shortly before the crash. They didn't even have anything to defend themselves with. I noticed that it's enough for a human to get one hit in any part of the body to die, whereas coffins only die when certain points on the head and stomach are damaged. That's right, the working fluid is inside of them in the area of the bladder. We really need it, but they don't. Another elderly person with cardiac failure. I don't envy their funerary spacesuits. It must be so stressful for them.
дороги птица, сердце дороги уходит. Get it, get it, get it.